Hello friends, this video on integrals part 21 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Before watching this video, please make sure that you have watched part 1 to part 20. So let's solve this. We have dx by root x square minus a square is equal to 1 by 2 log x minus a by x plus a plus. We have to prove this. So again here also I have option of choosing x equal to a tan theta, a sec theta or a sin theta. Since it is minus tan theta is not in picture, I have option of choosing a sec theta or sin theta. If I put x equal to a sec theta, this becomes a square sec square theta minus 1. Correct. I know that sec square theta minus 1 is nothing but tan square theta. This is nothing but a square tan square. Theta. Correct only for me. So I can use this. So let me put t is equal to or x is equal to a sec theta. So I'll get dx as nothing but a sec theta tan theta d theta. So let me put the values here. So dx becomes a sec theta tan theta d theta. So I'll write here integral of a sec theta tan theta d theta by x square is nothing but a sec square and in that case x square minus a square I found is nothing but a square tan square theta correct because this is my, my x square minus a square. So I will write as a square tan square t theta. This is what I have to find. A is cancelled. Tan theta tan square theta 1 is cancelled. So this becomes nothing but integral of sec theta by tan theta. Correct. Sec theta is nothing but 1 by cos theta. And tan theta is sin theta by cos theta. This I am trying to make my life simple by uh, further simplifying it. And 1 by A is common. So this is nothing but 1 by A integral of cosec theta d theta. Cosec theta d theta, you know what is the integral? That is nothing but 1 by A log of cosec theta into cot theta. Correct? That is what? Log of 1 by cosec theta minus cot theta. Please note this cosec theta minus cot theta. So let, let's uh, simplify this further. This becomes cosec becomes 1 by sine and cot become cos by sine. And plus constant. Anyway, I just removed, ignored this. This is there. So let me solve this part here now. So this is mine. Now let me simplify this further. So this becomes 1 by a log of this becomes 1 by cos theta minus cos theta. 1 minus cos theta is what? So if my uh, sec theta is equal to I'll write I'll just show you what x is equal to a sec theta or sec theta is equal to x by a cos theta will be a by x. Correct. See my sec theta is equal to x by a cos theta is 1 by sec theta that is reverse of this. So a by x divided by sin theta. Sin theta is nothing but root 1 minus cos square theta and cos theta is a by x. This is what I will get. Okay. Plus some cos. Now I have to simplify this. So this is let's simplify this 1 by a log. So let, let's cut this part. This, this is nothing but I'll, I'll want to remove this part. This is nothing but root of 1 plus 1 a by x into root of 1 minus a by x. Correct? So let's do one thing. Let's write this off in this form root of 1 minus a by x squares. Why? Because I want to cut one part because this equation is of this form actually. So this part and this part is cancelled. So if you see this is to the power 1 by 2. So this is nothing but 1 by a log 
x minus a by x plus a to the power 1 by 2. Correct? Plus constant. And if you see 1 by 2, if I take here, this becomes 1 by 2a log of x minus a by x plus a some constant. And that is what my answer. You see, this is exactly similar to this guy. So if you see what we have done here, we first understood that if it is of x square minus a square form, I have to take x is equal to a sec theta. This is the first part. If this part is done, my 50% of the problem is solved. I do x equal to a sec theta, I found d theta. I replaced here, I got a simpler form, cos sec theta d theta. And cos sec theta d theta, I knew the integration is cos sec minus cot theta. Now I have taken everything in form of x and a was the question, so I converted this guy again into simpler form and sin theta I uh, wrote as root of 1 minus a square by x square cos theta as a by x and simplified this further, just simplification to get this answer. This proof is almost similar to the last proof actually, there is no difference. This guy if you see, in the last guy we had dx by a square minus x square. Right, so I can write. I mean, logically, you did not prove this. These, this integral I know, right? A square minus x square. That is one by two log of a minus x by a plus x plus. Correct. So this guy is nothing but dx by a square minus x square is nothing but minus of integral log dx by. Sorry, yeah, this is x square minus a square. Right minus of x square minus a square dx. This is just v form, correct? Minus of this and this is nothing but minus of 1 by 2 a log of a minus x by a plus x plus c and this is nothing but 1 by 2 a log of a plus x by a minus x plus This goes up, this goes down. How? See, this guy is nothing but I will show you how minus of 1 by 2 a common, this is nothing but log of a minus x minus log of a plus x, right? If you take minus, you remove the minus sign, this because minus minus plus, this, this comes first. If you take this, this time, this is positive, this is becomes log of a plus x minus log of a minus x. Correct? This is how it becomes. And that is nothing but 1 by 2a log of a plus x by log of a minus x plus x. This is just a normal a logarithmic way. Now let's try for this one x square plus a square. So here also I have option of putting x equal to either a tan theta, a sec theta and a sin theta. But I told for positive you will take always a tan theta. So this guy is gone. So let's put x is equal to a tan theta. So my dx becomes a sec square theta d theta. And my x square plus a square will become a square tan square theta plus a square. That is nothing but a square Six square theta. Correct? Right? Tan square theta plus 1 is 6 square theta. So let me put the value integral of dx is nothing but my a 6 square theta d theta. Correct? Right? And this is also a a square 6 square theta d. Correct? Right? 6 square theta, 6 square theta cancel. a a square one part is cancelled. This is nothing but integral of 1 by a d theta. That is nothing but 1 by a theta plus c. Theta is nothing but tan inverse x by a. Correct? Why? Because tan theta is x by a. So theta is tan inverse x by a. This is nothing but tan inverse x by a plus And that is my answer. 1 by a is always there. 1 by a is there. And that is my answer. Very simple. Just I put x equal to a tan theta and solve this answer. Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, 
try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors, and much more. Thanks once again.